Ah, glitches. Love them or hate them, glitches are in every single video game you've ever played. From simple bugs that, you know, you never really notice, maybe it's a little bit of, like, a character, you know, looking the wrong way or something, all the way up to extreme bugs such as literally being softlocked to the point where you have to fully restart your game to play the game once again from whichever location you were at. Bugs are a thing that happen all the time. However, it appears that people are taking advantage of some bugs, and it's causing a lot of controversy in the FNCS competitive scene, as a lot of content creators, or I guess competitive players in general, have recently been noticing and seeing a lot of players that participate in the most recent FNCS qualifiers getting banned for doing what is essentially a glitch. I'll just let the video play for itself and then we'll talk a little bit more after it plays. Of HP, another chop down, Avery Commandment, they are just so good. Now what I love about this though, Commandment really showing us, hey, I'm the man who was putting up the clutch shots first, the big highlights first there and he manages to put Iyamzo down as we start to coast this one out you can see Motomot just playing for the heal off as Avery and Commandment are trying to do just that they go for the fishing opportunities here smart right really playing to the very very end everything and every moment matters here as you start to pull this off absolutely Motomot has a course set up right now that he's rocking and going in with Avery will be able to chop down on a few apples but I guess it's not enough to stop a man just playing a platformer, it looks like. 30 HP, 20, and Modi was so fish in the inventory is able to rock that one out with the victory royale. When you watch that, you might not have thought anything. You were like, okay, well, this one person ended up winning because they had like a whole entire obstacle course set up where they were just, you know, hitting shield slurp, the little mushroom things or whatever, every single time they regenerated, allowing them to keep gaining infinite health while in the storm. And while that is a true assessment of what's going on here, did you know that this competitive player and multiple other healer players, people who just do heal offs late game, have actually been getting banned due to doing this type of stuff in the FNCS qualifiers. The reason why is because apparently this is either the unintended bug that Epic Games is mad at players for doing, or it's related to a weird bug that's going on with rebooting teammates. You see, there's currently a bug with their storm sickness feature, which is supposed to prevent hill offs like this from occurring. And what is happening is that players are able to actually get rebooted from a reboot van and no longer have the storm sickness taking effect, making it so that they don't lose health over time while being in the storm without doing any damage to other players. Because of this glitch being able to be used, it apparently was used on this player right here, and they were able to, you know, take less damage than they should have all in the storm, allowing them just to stay alive for a lot longer, win the entire game itself, without ever having to pick a single fight at all. Now, luckily for the competitive players affected, it only appears like all these bans, or at least 99% of them, are only 15-day bans, with only one other person I've noticed on Twitter reporting that they got a permanent ban from the game due to doing this hill-off bug or intentional feature. It really just depends on how you look at it. We really gotta think about, did these people intentionally do the reboot van glitch in order to be able to hill off in the storm, or did they accidentally get rebooted, or did they have the storm surge going on the whole entire time? There's a lot of different factors to think about here, but I would love to hear in the comments down below what do you think about this entire situation do you think these content creators and just competitive players in general should have been banned for actually doing this glitch do you think that epic games should have let them do it because it was kind of their bug to begin with i'd love to hear what everyone has to say in the comments down below but before we end off today's youtube video i guess i want to give you guys a little bit of like a channel update so as you guys know in previous updates i've done locker showcases where i've been able to showcase all the cosmetics in my locker well there is a working private server for the current version of fortnite by passing the Hyperion anti-cheat. However, I've decided against using it simply because it is kind of a private, private server in a way where if you want access to it, you gotta like buy access and I would rather be able just to get content out with you guys without having to worry about spending like 200 bucks on something that might not work in the next Fortnite update. So I am still going to be doing cosmetic showcases each update. However, they will be using the in-game lobby system like the most recent showcase. I'll just be trying to, you know, make those better over time as I do them. So I hope you bear with me as we go through this little bit of a troubly time when it comes to locker showcases and I will see you champs and champets tomorrow with another YouTube video where we go over everything to expect in the V21.30 update. Peace out.